G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags. Uh, first things first, there might be a little bit of fan noise in the background of this one. I hope there's not. It got hot on this end, so I'll try and edit that out if I can. But we've just had a news article pop up. Finland, the conquest forces of the Soviet Union. Um, long story short, Finland has fallen to Soviet control. So, and we have our next target. So we have a submarine. Uh, Sonar contact, bearing 310, designate Sierra 1. We're at 50 feet and only 5 knots. We're actually in exactly the same location that we engaged the, uh, the, the previous submarine in. Heading 257, we're at 50 feet. No surface duct, no thermal layer this time, however. All right, so we're going to close this one to 15, otherwise we'll never find this bloody thing. All right. I think we should be good. On sonar, new contact bearing shift for ultra quiet. So depth 100. Make depth 1008 die by. Alright, so we have two targets already. Oh, and I didn't reload the tubes. I really should have double checked that. Con sonar, new contact bearing 272, two, designated Sierra 3. Alright, so what have we got? Sierra 1 is looking very much like a Sierra. Yep, we'll mark that. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Con dive at 1008 dive. Anakir, I'm, I'm just wondering who thought that was a good idea to give the NATO designation for the Sierra class the designation of the Sierra class when Sierra is used to also designate sonar contact. Because then you get. Sierra class identified as Sierra. There isn't there a... Isn't the whole point of these names to try not to confuse things? But that sounds like it would actually cause a certain level of confusion. Or somebody just didn't think these out too much. Or alternatively, potentially I'm overthinking it. This may be... Yeah, it is. It doesn't quite line up. It'll be a trawler. There, there it is. Con sonar, Sierra. Wonder if it's the same trawler from the last fight. Emergent. Now that is not a trawler. What is that? Are we against a signal submarine or are we against a wolf pack here? No, it won't be a surface without being uh, perhaps a merchant, I think. Yep, it's a merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Alright, so depth is 100 feet. We have no thermal layers, we have nothing else, and it's running near the surface. So at the very least, up against a Sierra. Test depth, 1,804. That's deeper than we can go in the 688 once again. But that's not so deep that it can outrun our torpedoes. 35, oh, Con, yeah, outdive our torpedoes. But 35 knots is a little bit more of an issue. So we're currently at 100 feet, we should be deep enough now. Toad array deployed. We'll see if we can identify what, or identify, uh, hey, identify the exact details on this particular sub. Now, we are getting a little low on supplies here, so after this we are probably going to have to head back to Holy Lock and get another re uh, another reload up. We've currently only got three, we got three in the tubes and seven in storage, which is okay. Torpedoes is okay. We've only got two moths on board, one and one spare. Actually, if this goes smoothly, we may not need to. We may be able to do another engagement for that. Although, with only ten torpedoes total, I wouldn't like to engage a surface fleet at this point. The Sierra appears to be moving this way. So, I'm 46. Let's give it... Yeah, there's no way he doesn't hear us. One out. Two out. Although, no counterfeit. Not there it is. There 
impurities. just exploded. I'm going to keep these over... Oh, no, it might turn back hard. Ah! What? How the hell? Dive, 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 dive. It's going to swing around and it's going to catch us in just a few seconds. Yep, there it is. Sneaky shit has rocket launched or missile launch torps. No rocket launch torps. Can I measure out? Dirty, dirty, dirty Sierra. That's not an artistic thing either by the devs. The real Sierra actually did have teeth painted around the sonar cone. Oh, that hurt my ears. Torpedo's coming back in. But yeah, that's that's real. That's actually the cover for the active sonar array. And they did actually paint teeth over the entire thing. So the, the Sierra class is badass. Stay away from that one. I don't want to be dodging two. First torpedo has already picked up. Sierra, so Sierra is being engaged. So I'm going to straighten out here. So we're at 886 feet. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Always make her away. towards the Sierra here. I'm not worried about cavitating any more than I always have been because like it doesn't matter. The way the torpedoes act in epic mod, whether you're cavitating or not makes no difference to whether or not you're detected or not. I could go silent and it, it would still find me. Come on. The biggest issue I've got here is actually the decoys. I'm running out. Now we sort of know from the previous one that the uh, the AI's decoys are significantly better than your own. So hopefully we'll get close enough here that we can uh, dump that torpedo onto uh, the Sierra's decoys and escape that way. Right, let's start the dive and let's go full ballast down. And one, two, three. Hard right rudder. Look at that dive. And it'll pass. 
glass just over the top of this, same as always. Because I'm pretty sure it's been tuned to that point that you have to do exactly what I'm doing right now if you want to avoid a torpedo. There we go. Boom! Sierra is out of the game, I think. Now we're just going to stay alive for long enough not to be killed and horribly butchered by this torpedo and potentially the, well potentially our own torpedo, so it looks like only one hit then. sunk sub, but there's still noisemakers being dropped. Uh, actually, no, in this case, we want to go full up. And let's go full right rudder again. Okay, so what is dropping noisemaker still? Alright, cool. There we go. Pretty Torpedo sure. has finally run out. So let's just level out and go very quiet here. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 3, bearing 284. Passing 800 feet. Yeah, the Sierra is definitely dead. deploying countermeasures then. Okay, so I, I hung around searching to see exactly what this target was that was deploying countermeasures after we sunk the Sierra. I'm not entirely sure what happened there because there's nothing here. At least as far as I can tell. No, that was it. There was just the Sierra. So... I don't know, was the Sierra dropping countermeasures as it was sinking? I've never seen one do that before. But there's definitely countermeasure callouts after I sunk her. Regardless, Sierra down. So that's one of the more dangerous attack submarines the Soviets have, and we've put that one on the bottom. And the patrol continues. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very, very, very soon. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.